It's October, it's only 13 degrees out here in the countryside, and it's a lot colder in there. But want to be in the Marines? Well, you'd better get used to it. So today is the Meet the Marines Day. We, well, meet the Marines and we get to do abseiling off the main house. We get to jump in freezing cold lakes, which is kind of what they do for a living. So. At the start of the day, we went through a little tutorial about like all the stuff they use like the ration packs and stuff and then we came down here to do this uh, lifeboat stuff where we work as a team and we have to go out there and then the losers have to jump in. How late. was that? Freezing. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> uh, it was our punishment for coming last place on the boat race. What did you not quite do as well as you should have done? Worked as a team, um, probably could have worked a little bit harder. Come on, you can still win this, catch them up! There's a serious side to all of this though, inspiring future careers and pushing boundaries. A key part of today is teaching these 16 and 17 year olds they're capable of even more than they thought. That includes jumping into freezing cold lakes and even conquering fears of heights by abseiling off the college roof. Did I mention that I'm not brilliant with heights either? Well, what they're getting is primarily exposure to the Marines and what the Marine career might be. So for some of them it's about fitness, for some of them it's an opportunity to try abseiling or exposure to uh, military, military vehicles as you can see behind me here. Um, but mostly it's just an opportunity to meet people who are doing the job so that they get it from the horse's mouth, they understand what, what's involved and of course not necessarily in a combat capacity. The guys and girls that study here are on a specialist military preparation course. Its popularity is soaring. Just a few years ago it had eight students, now there's 55. It can be quite difficult, um, it, certainly within the winter, and we get out, we don't change our training programme for any of that. Let's say, for instance, when winter comes and our lake freezes over, that's when we'll send the military prep students out there. Uh, and we do put them through their paces, but because, because they have so much fun on the course, as in interacting with military serving personnel and getting hands on their equipment, visiting camps, visiting airfields, visiting naval yards and ships and getting on board, um, each day is different. There's an academic side to the course too, but today it was all about mixing with the real deal. And despite it being more hard work than some realised it would be, it's definitely gone down well. Uh, the plan is to join the Royal Marines, uh, become a Royal Marine Commando, hopefully travel the world, um, obviously doing various activities like this, just team building exercises all helps out. What have you learned from it all? The, there's no sympathy. <laughs> just, you have to listen, obey. And if you don't, you get punished for it.